I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear and today we are putting nest boxes in with the rabbits. All right, I'm in the garage and this is where I keep the nest boxes when they're not in with bunnies. So I'm gonna take them down and make sure that they don't have any spiders in them. Give them a thorough look here. And this one looks good. And one more. And that one looks good too. Now I have these bins on on little um, rollers from Harbor Freight. It works great. They just roll out right from underneath the the uh, shelf. Roll out. And I have hay in here for my bunnies. So what I do is I just put a bunch of hay in here. Now the very first time the very first time I did this, um, I just put the nest, nest box in and gave them a bunch of hay, and then they made their own, and that worked completely fine. I will put a link up in the top um, to a video that I did that way, and warning, it was an early video that I did. It's an hour long, but that's how long it took her, um, it was tortellini. That's how long it took her to make a nest and bring it in from from out, outside of it. So I just kind of pack it in. I mean, I don't really pack it in. I just set it in. But it is quite a bit because she does need some insulation for her babies. So I'm going to put that much in. There's a lot of room in here. She's she's going to figure it out. <clears throat> so, here's the second nest box. Doing the same thing. Now, they might eat some of this but before they have babies, so I need to be prepared to put in more. Alright, that's pretty good. I like these because I can just roll them right back. Easy, easy. Alright, so I'm in here in the rockin' house about to put these in. Um, these rabbits, they're going to do one of two, th one of a few things. They're going to either ignore it, which is probably not going to happen. They're probably going to jump right in and make a nest. That's what's been, that's what's happened in the past. Um, and they will also probably eat the hay. So, um, they will, uh, you'll need to replace the hay, check them and, and replace it. Um, I put these in on day 26 and that is uh, the day, that's the day that, uh, you know, day zero is breeding day. I put them in on day 26, that's the day that the person I got them from said to do it, so that's what I do. And, um, hi, <laughs> meatballs looking at me. <laughs> and when they kindle, kindling is what it's called when, when rabbits give birth, when they kindle, um, is going to be sometime between day 26 and day 35. That's typically what it is. It's a big, big span, but around day 30 has been these ladies typical. So today's Friday. Uh, so it's the 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30. So I'm expecting maybe by Tuesday that they'll have their young. So I'll check them every day and all of that still. But I'm not really expecting them to have babies, you know, today or tomorrow. I'm expecting it to be Monday or Tuesday. So, but it's good to have these in there in case they have an early birth. All right, as I do this, let's talk about positioning. And I will position the camera. Hi, sweetie. What? Hi. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in. Watch out, baby. Watch out, I know, you're curious. I know. Honey, no. Okay, so Meatball always likes to go behind hers for some reason. Meatball, come on. Come on. Come out. Come here. There we go. There we go. Good girl. So you can see she's very curious about it. And I'm guessing she's going to hop right in. Um, so let's talk positioning of the nest box. You want the nest box in a position that they're not going to receive wind. I know, Turtlini, you're going to get yours soon. They're not going to get wind or cold. So I have positioned the nest box so that the entrance is to the interior of the... Yeah, you're eating your hay, aren't you? <laughs> the entrance is to the interior of, of the hutch. And... I don't know if you can tell that white background, that's actually a, a barrier. You can see where it goes red, that's less barrier. So we do have a wind barrier in here. Now for where they are, they're rather protected from wind because the garage is right behind them. So the wind comes from this direction this way. So that is um, already kind of not really an issue, but I just add the extra panel. To, to make sure. So let's give Tortellini hers, because she's ready. Hi. Um, the, other, the other factor is to make sure you don't put this in their bathroom. So um, Meatball's bathroom is, is over here in this corner. So I, I know it's not in her bathroom. Yeah, are you gonna go up there? She might. No? All right, let's see if I can do this. Hi, I know. I know, sweetheart. You gotta move though so I can put this in. Okay. Look at her. She comes right to the front to get pets. All right, honey, you gotta back up. So again, Tortellini's bathroom is to the right, so I'm going to put this on the far end. Excuse me, honey. Excuse me, you gotta move. You gotta move, honey. All right. And, <laughs> it's kinda hard with the camera here. All right. And again, I put this in the corner. Now, that solar fan behind her, hi, sweetie, um, is, is not on um, right now. And so she had, they both haven't had hay in a while. I've been feeding just pellets. And um, so they're excited about the hay. <laughs> <clears throat> but if you are interested in watching how I did this the first time, which is completely fine to do, and that is having her make her own nest. Um, I did link earlier in the video, I linked, I'll probably put it at the end, end card as well, but I linked a video about that, and Tortellini spent an hour building a nest, which was pretty interesting to me. I thought it would be interesting to other people, um, but it is long. You gonna go in? So 
so again, um, I don't have it up yet, but there is a barrier um, similar to what Meatball has that I would put up for her um, if it was more winter. It's not really cold yet. And that would be for kind of a, a little bit of cold protection, not necessarily wind because she doesn't get wind. You guys are just eating, aren't you? I'm excited about it. There we go. So I also have a video that I will link on how to make a nest box if you don't have one already. Um, people make them out of different materials, but if you're making them out of wood, um, then I'll, I'll show you a video about that. Um, there'll be a link in the top. What do you think, baby? Are you gonna go in? Maybe not. <laughs> I do feed them. They're just excited about the hay. <laughs> Aren't you sweet, girl? They are obviously not nesting yet. If they were ready to nest, what they would do is they would jump in there and they would make themselves a little hollow and um, nice, warm, insulated. Uh, area to have their babies and neither one has done that Are you going after the best hay? Yeah See, her belly is still a little bit flat, and you can't really tell until they kind of reach up like that. Um, Meatball's belly is a little rounder, but that's pretty consistent with them. Meatball usually has a lot more babies. <laughs> so mama rabbits do spend time up on top, um, which is why it has a... a top that's big enough for them to sit on. When they have babies it gets them a chance to get away, although the babies do hop up there quite early, earlier than you would think. And sometimes they'll jump from up there into the box. I was hoping to show you guys that. Rexy, I know. I just want to show you guys Meatball here. She'll let me show you her sides. She's a little bit more pudgy than Tortellini is. I don't know if you can see that from the camera, but her side's a little bit more pudgy, which means you have babies. So now we have the countdown. Um, again, this is day 26. They usually kindle around day 30, so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna make sure of two things now, well three things. One, I'm going to make sure that they have enough hay. They might eat a bunch of it and I might have to restock it. That's number one. Number two is that they're not using, hi sweetie, that they're not using it as a litter box. I have not had that happen but I know people that have. So if they have start using it as a litter box then just take it out and then that's when you would go and put you know, give them some hay every, you know, a couple times a day, and if they, if they stuff it in their mouth and look for a place to put it, then you put the nest box back in. Um, and then three, I'm going to be looking for babies. And when the babies uh, come, we want to make sure that if she has them on the wire, that they go, that we scoop them up and we put them in the nest box. So I will be checking a couple times a day for that, and. Um, and go from there. They're, they've been pretty good about just having them in the nest box themselves, itself. Um, and the only time I've seen babies on the wire is when they've been stillborn. So, um, something else, if you're a newbie, something else is that if they are stillborn, 
um, mom might eat them. So just be prepared, prepare yourself. It's very sad and a little shocking the first time. Hi, sweetie. But um, it's a little it's a little shocking the first time you see that. So just prepare yourself that that is something that they do and you can either take it away and dispose of it or you can let them have that nutrition. So, um, yeah. Hi, sweetie. So I'm coming out here to check. Hi, sweetie. And she has gone back in there. And I don't think there's any babies in there yet. <clears throat> but she has made a little nest back there. Hi, sweetie. Good girl. And Tortellini has not done that yet. So, thank you for watching and um, if you watch those two links that might be helpful to you. Um, one is, is Tortellini building a nest, a very long video. And the other is um, how to build a nest box if you don't have one. And I did that based off of ex our existing nest boxes. So um, I hope you enjoy the day and that if you have babies coming that you are prepared and that this video helps you um, when it's time to put in the next bo nest boxes. Thank you and have a wonderful day.